Hello there and welcome to my channel. I am the Brettspiel dude. Dude. Um, this is angry German for board game dude and um, I'm normally doing reviews in German only but um, as I was seeing that there were some questions to a game or expansion that was coming out right now um, and no one else talked about it, I thought this is my chance to release something in the English language. Um, well, I'm a Eurogamer, I'm a heavy Eurogamer. Um, I do, I'm doing reviews for Eurogames, Founders of Gloomhaven, Teotihuacan and Coimbra. I have my debut on uh, YouTube with Coimbra in August and um, I've been doing some, some stuff ever since. But I'm playing Coimbra still because it's a great game. I was teaching it to people and um, they are loving it too. I think it has great mechanisms and I do not think that is uh, in need of any expansion at all. No good game, in my opinion, does need an expansion. Still, Coimbra got one. And one thing the designers got right off from the start is it's extremely cheap. I think it's about 12 or 13 euros um, and it has it comes in this little box which is very very cool to look at. It has a very precious feeling about it. Um, good thing that it releases um, uh, this Christmas so perhaps it's a little Christmas present. I myself I bought me two copies one for me and one for friends so um, it's gonna be a present. It doesn't contain much but what it does contain well I'll show you and I'll explain to you how it um, goes into the game and how well it goes with the game. Okay let's see. And so this is it, the small expansion box. Um, it comes with a bit of foiled printing on it uh, and it contains a rule sheet, six-sided, um, four dice which are very cool, two colors on each one and four wooden cubes in the shape of a bell. And all this comes into in, in a nice little dice tray which um, feels great too. So it's not much but I think um, normally promo promotional tiles go for at least five euros so I think 12 euros is is an okay price for that what you get here, but how does it implement in the game? Well, let's see. So basically this game contains three things. The first of all is a dice tray. It's a nice dice tray for use in the game. I think um, whoever needs a dice tray has already one. I personally think this is nice, but I think this lid is somehow in the way. So I'm not really sure how much use it really will see here. Um, then there's these wooden belts. Um, they are for victory conditions. Um, first of all, you'll always place these here on the top of the tracks. And that's that for the moment. And finally, there's these dice. They come in two. Um, colors. The one is green and purple and the other is gray and orange. Now they are thrown together with all the other dice at the start of the game, at the start of the round and um, every player now has the option to pick four dice which is one of those special dice and three regular ones. These regular ones are placed in the in the um, plastic holders as they uh, were before um, so that's not, not a big change there but these are placed either on one of those tracks um, where the corresponding color is so it's for this die it's either the gray or the orange track while the other one is either on the purple or on the green progression track so um, they will be placed here what they do I'll explain later um, the other players then only have the option to place it on the other corresponding color so um, this die couldn't be placed on the green progression track as there already is one die so it has to be placed here and the final player places his die there. If there are neutral players playing with um, because if you're, you're only two players then you can choose one of those 
die, let's say the gray and um, orange one, place it on either progression track. And the other player only has the option to pick one of the other color dice, so he cannot pick one of those dice. Um, he can only pick the other one and place it on either of those progression tracks. The other dice, which were rolled initially, are placed at the end of the uh, die selection. When placing the die, you may perform a trade action, which is that you pay a number of resources equal to the number of um, that is printed on the, on the die, which means in this case you need to pay three resources. You may pay either those guards or, or gold or even victory points, so you could pay three victory points to gain the effect, which is that you set the die next to the, the progression track equal to the number and get the reward that is on the right side. This means in the case of this three you would gain three guards or three gold um, depending on which progression track you put the die on. If you had chosen a zero or had rolled a zero and then you would always get the lowest score and would not have to pay anything because zero resources is zero resources but you only get one guard. Um, in case of the four you would gain five gold or four or five guards which is quite a lot. Same counts for these two progression checks. Um, if you place it on the purple one you um, can walk with your pilgrim and if you place it on the green progression track you will get a victory points which is always a nice option um, so in this case you could pay two victory points to gain three victory points so hmm, sounds a bit may but whatever so the last thing that happens in a round is that you look at the numbers of the dice and then you move the belts down equal to the um, equal, uh, number of times equal to the number printed on the dice. So this gray um, belt goes down zero spaces, the um, orange one goes down two spaces this one one and this one two. So in the duration of the game this will um, these belts will come down a bit and at the end of the game you will take a look at how many belts you have reached or passed um, and depending on how many you have reached or passed you will getting you're getting additional victory points this is um, here on the track so if you only have reached one or zero um, belts that means you will get zero points on two tracks you will get three points on three tracks that's eight points flat and if you manage to um, reach or suppress all four belts that will grant you 15 victory points so um, this thing will reward players that try to level up all progression tracks equally and not just go oh all in one here and all in one there and pff, I don't need gold or guards whatever so um, yes you would get um, these points but no you wouldn't get many points through these belts and that's all that's everything that's in this small expansion box and that is that. You get a small dice tray, four wooden belts and four dice. Now it doesn't really feel like an expansion at all to me because normally expansions are way bigger. If I, yeah, I'm looking at you, Rails to the North Great Western Trail expansion. Um, it more feels like someone had taken two promotional pieces and then and just thrown them in this box and sold them for 12, 13 euros but I think it's good promotional pieces because I think they add to the game. Um, these belts not so much because I do not think, cannot imagine right now, may prove me wrong, um, that players will now try to get as equally up as possible just to overtake the belts to get those victory points when it's so much more rewarding to um, just go rocket-like in one or two um, progression tracks to uh, to get the maximum um, effect uh, up here. So pff, I'm not sure about those belts, not really sure. But those dice, really, um, they allow you multiple things and they, they do really much in the game because first of all they allow you to trade resources which is quite important. Perhaps you have an abundance of guards, you do not need more guards but you can trade them now for gold. Hmm, nice. 
or you can trade it the other way around or you can trade your resources which you don't have any use for uh, moving a pilgrim or getting victory points you can even choose to move your pilgrim only for victory points which is great because now you have the ability to reach that level 3 monastery and that will get you many many more victory points so um, it's a really a strategic decision to take where can I put my die but more so um, the question is when do I choose the die and when do I choose not to take one of the casual, uh, not casual, or normal dice that are in the game? Because if I take this die, this expansion die, then I'm not able to get my regular die in the turn. So someone can take this valuable Joker die, or can take the only one that is there, or the only sixth, and to to um, uh, get a card, to get to a card first. So. Um, this really adds to the feel of the game, which is take dice and choose carefully what to do with them. Um, and, and the decision really, really counts. And this is the same with those expansion dice. Um, the decision when to take it and where to place it is really important in the game. And so it feels like, like a natural expansion. Now I'm using the, the term expansion really, um, uh, because it expands the game um, and, and the use of the progression tracks. Well, I like it. I like it a lot because it has this beautiful little box that I really love um, and the dice are really really beautiful too. So take a look at it and please leave a comment. Tell me what do you think about Coimbra in general or the expansion just um, that is I think only available through the Eggerspieler Personally, in Germany, I got it through Pegasus Spiele, that is the distributor um, for Agat Spiele in Germany. Um, yeah, that's it. So, now you're rewarded with uh, really German English here. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video and please, as I said, try to leave a comment and um, I will try to uh, answer all your comments and questions below. Do it. And um, yeah, click like, click like now. <laughs> oh, uh, look, a dumbbell. Did, did, have you ever seen the, the video of Arnold Schwarzenegger picking up dumbbells in, in um, <laughs> places where house fires took place? Oh, look, a dumbbell. Um, I love that clip, look it up on YouTube. Okay, now, um, anyway, see you around. Um, perhaps this will not be my last English spoken video, depending on how nice you are to me right now. Um, Follow me, I'm the Brettspiel dude. And I will now drink a nice uh, glass of port wine. <laughs> See you around, bye.